What you guys, today we're taking a look at Google Chrome features that everyone should try. So let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome and we're going to open up this to a full screen here. Now, once we're in here, go to the actual top of the browser where you would normally type in, say, your URL here. And we're going to type in here Chrome colon forward slash forward slash and then flags. This will open up a hidden panel inside your browser which says experiments. It says warning experimental features ahead. Now, a lot of these updates will be released in future updates of the browser. So take a look at some of these. Now, if you want to reset them all back to default, you can do and then relaunch your browser and it will put them back. So all we need to do is search for some of these flags that I'm going to show you in this video. We can test them out. They're pretty useful and uh, they seem to be working OK for me. So let's go ahead and type the first one in. We're going to type reader in here and you can see enable reader mode. You can enable this feature by going over to default using the drop down and put enable and then relaunch your browser. And now we've just enabled the enable reader mode. Now, what is reader mode? Let me just show you how this works. It's a really cool little feature. So we're going to go to a website here, Leaping Computer, something like that. Click accept their terms. And again, what we're going to do here is go to their website. And you can see this website is pretty loaded with a load of adverts and a load of other stuff on their website, which can obviously make it very difficult to read because of the amount of data that is on this site. All you need to do is go up to the top right and enable reader mode. Just click on this and then we go back and take a look. And as you can see, it's removed all of that from the page and just made the article listed right on the page here. And this makes it much more easier to read. Also, you can print this out and it will be a much more cleaner format for you to print it out and read at a later date if you like printing out uh, tutorials online. Also, let's go up to the top here and type another flag called dark mode. Now, this dark mode is auto dark mode for web contents. This is going to be automatically rendering all web contents into a dark theme. So let's go ahead and enable this feature and relaunch the browser. And you can now see we have a nice black uh, backdrop. And this is much more easier on the eyes. Some people prefer to have a darker screen so they can read the content a little bit more clearly. So let's go ahead and go to a website here and we'll check it out. I'm going to go back to Bleeping Computer here so we can see what it looks like now in dark mode. Really cool little feature. Now, let me just quickly test to see whether this works in reader mode as well. And this will be the same for every website that you go to. It'll be in a nicer, darker theme mode, which makes it much more easier on the eye. And uh, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Now, if you want to reverse this and turn it off, you can do. All you need to do is go in here and just go back and put them to default, or you can reset all. You can either reset one or reset all of them. Very simple and easy to do. So let me go ahead and just put these back to default and we've gone back to the default settings or you can just choose which ones you want to enable. Now, this next little tip is pretty useful for people that have lots of windows open or tabs open at one time for websites. Now, if you're reading some of these articles and you're saving them for later on, then this little next one will really help you out. All you need to do here is go up to this top right hand side and there's this little drop down search tab here. Hit this one here, and all you need to do is search for the term that you want to search for in all of your tabs. So, for instance, let me just put Brightech in here. If I've got my website open and I push enter here, it's going to open up my website. As soon as I type Brightech, it's going to see it right here. So, you don't have to go hunting for it by clicking on all of the tabs up the top. You just have to search in here for the site that you're looking for, say Bleep, and it will tell me Bleeping Computers right here. You can imagine how useful this would be if you had, say, 30 or 40 uh, tabs open for websites, which a lot of people do have open because they don't take up a lot of resources as much as they used to years ago. Let's just show you another one here, which I wanted to show you. Let's assume that you're reading an article like this one and you wanted to save it for later on because you might want to print it out or you've got a bit of coursework that you're doing and you're researching some of these articles. You can go up to this one here where it says show side panel, open this up and you should see reading list. This is very useful. You can add the current tab to this reading list. So I've just added this to my reading list here and this will act like a, a bookmark and you can list all of your articles that you're reading in this section here. Now, once you've read it, you can check mark it and it will check mark this and say that you've read it. Again, you can mark as read. You can also delete and remove it from your list. 
So it's a lot more easier to organize some of the pages that you're reading rather than adding them to your bookmarks, which becomes a bit of a mess. So it's quite useful to use this feature. Now, the good thing about this is when you close these pages off and uh, when you close it off, you can still see that it's still here. Even if I close the whole page off, it will still be there, meaning I can go back to it a little bit later on. It'll still be saved in my uh, reading list. So let me go ahead and check this out. You can see it's still there. And that's a really useful feature. Uh, so you can go back and say, I'll read that later on. And when you're finished with it, you can just delete it and remove it from your reading list. Very simple and easy to use. I do like that feature. Next up, I'm going to show you another useful feature here. So let's just say we're looking at this article here and uh, we're reading along this article. Maybe you've got to go out on a train or something like that and you want to continue reading some of these articles. You can go up to this little icon here and there'll be a send to area here. This will only show if you are syncing your browser with other devices. You can then send this article to your mobile phone or tablet or something like that. So when you're out and about, you can still uh, read that article. You will need to turn on sync here. And what this will do is it will sync all of your devices. So you can send web pages and articles to that device and continue reading it. It's very useful, uh, but you do need to be signed into your Google Chrome browser. And you can also have to turn on sync uh, for syncing all of your devices in one. So let me just show you this other little tip here. We've got three web pages open here uh, that we're looking at, and uh, you can see them right here. And let me just quickly show you what you can do here. This is quite a useful little one if you are a very busy person and you want to shut down your PC, but you don't want to save all these pages. You can go to the three dots and uh, you can go down to where it says settings, click on settings, and then go to where it says on startup. On this startup page, you can see here, open the new tab page. And uh, basically, you can click on here where it says continue where you left off. And you can also open up a specific page on the setup page. So you can set this up to add a new page and you can make this whatever page you want, whether it be your website or Google or something like that, you can set this up. And uh, basically that's how you set this up. But if you wanted these pages to open every time you close your browser or restart your PC, you can say continue where you've left off. Let's just assume that you've got say 15 pages open and you don't want to have to bookmark everything because you don't want them in your bookmarks, but you just want them to open every time you shut down your browser. Well, when you shut down your browser, they will be right there, just like so. A very useful little tip, but also this works even if you restart your PC. Let me just quickly restart the PC. We'll see once we restart the PC that these three pages will be there when I go and open up uh, the browser, they'll be right there, just like so. So very useful if you've got a lot of pages open, but you don't want to bookmark anything, but you just want them open when you restart your PC. Maybe you've got some coursework or something like that. Very, very useful uh, page. Now you can put this back to defaults, and once you close this off and open it again, uh, it will be gone. And uh, you can set it up for as many times as you like. Very useful little feature. Now do know that when you open up websites, they are listed in your history. Maybe some people clear their history every time they close their browser. Or maybe it's the case that they don't want to go sifting through all of this sort of content in their history. This way, it's super easy and quick, and you would have these pages open instantly. Now, let's take a look at this next one. Let's close these browsers off, and you can now push Control-Shift-T, and this will open up your previously closed browsers. Maybe you've shut down that page that you wanted to quickly read. Rather than going through sifting through your history, you can quickly push Control-Shift-T, and it will open up the page. Also, you can right click up on the top right hand side here and say open close tab and it will straight away open up the close tab that you accidentally closed. This can be particularly useful if you have a lot of tabs open and you can't remember which one you closed. You can quickly reopen it very quickly by just doing that. Very simple. We're going to be talking about downloading type parallel downloading and you can see here enable parallel downloading to accelerate download speed. And you can use this on Mac, Windows, and Linux, Chrome OS, Android as well. And you just need to enable that feature. And this will help with download speeds by enabling the parallel downloading. And you can always reverse this if you want to. So let's go ahead and try a new. Now let's talk about live caption. This is another useful little tool for people that will have some sort of live captions coming up on the screen for when someone's talking. 
So maybe you're in a conference room and you can't have the audio on, but you just want to be able to read some of the content. And this will bring up any sort of uh, caption for any sort of video media that you're playing. Let me just show you here how this works. So I've got this enabled now, but you do need to go into settings in the browser and then go over to uh, accessibility. And inside here, you'll see live caption. Toggle this on and this will turn on the live caption feature once you've enabled it. Now, if you just need some captions coming up on the screen, we'll just use this YouTube video. You can see here straight away, as soon as I push play, it will start giving me a live caption on the screen. And this will be for any media that you're playing. It will convert the audio into some sort of live caption on the screen, just like this one. Very, very useful for people that uh, need to read content rather than hear the actual sound. Now, this is some of the best Chrome features that everyone should at least give a try. Let me know in the comments section below whether you knew about these features or whether you've even tried them. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Have a great day and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.